Dumbbell push press, what we got rocking for you today. A beautiful movement. You're going to grab dumbbells. If we're going for heavy, if we're in like ISTs, something like that, we're going to be doing a, a whole lot heavier, focusing on, on that explosion where uh, it's just boom, throw it all up quick and then control it as it just bring it on down. Boom! It was on that explosive as quick as possible. Now, that's not usually where we use it. We usually use it in our tabatas. What we're looking for uh, is you want that beautiful squat. Now, let me start loading anything on top with dumbbells out in front, uh, at least with our push press. It tends to shorten uh, our, our range of motion, whereas a normal squat might be able to take us all the way down here, good and low with a, a pretty good squat here, right here before those heels start popping up just a little bit. So watch that, only go as low as you can, keeping the heels in contact with the ground. And what I tell our clients is, uh, I really care about the explosiveness and I really care about uh, the uh, power that we're generating and the quickness, specifically when we're using this in Tabatas. Uh, and I don't care so much about range of motion for this one. So there's a couple different schools of thought. You can bring it out in front, like so, kind of like an auto press. Uh, if it's uh, uh, your shoulders, or if you're predisposed to shoulder issues, it's much safer, much healthier on those shoulders, and that's fine. Um, or you can just put it right out to the earlobes, just boom, up and down, as quick as possible. Now, a couple of the deviations you're going to see is people will oftentimes do this move, squat, press, squat, press, clearly not explosive at all. We want to use those quads to throw them up. A lot of the times, particularly on the first two uh, seconds set, you can grab a really heavy dumbbell. Uh, and in fact, so much so that we normally couldn't overhead press because we're using the lower body, our larger lower body muscles, to help power those arms up overhead. It's very, very important uh, with those dumbbells. In addition, uh, so either here or out here, uh, keep it tall, make sure we're not hinging down. Uh, if that is the, the manner, of course, that's clearly going to make the overhead press really difficult. The dumbbells are kind of moving in this arcing fashion and then vertical. We don't want that, we want to try to keep it in one clean track to focus on explosivity. Very, very important uh, for all of that. Watch those feet, watch those knees. If we're going to unilateral, which often is the case, you're going to see like one of these numbers, outside legs will move in uh, or out for added stability. So it's either going to cave in because it's too weak uh, or it's going to step out because it's too weak and it's not able to stabilize. So we're opening up that base of support. You also often see that foot pop out, so watch that as well. Um, but a unilateral press would be like so. All right, so very, very quick, uh, clearly quicker than that. Uh, but that's what we're looking for uh, for your push 